she looks so happy like performing all the time. I love when she sings like that. Ooh, kind of made me have more respect for the song in a way. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Back to my channel, my name is Frasixen, in today's video I'm gonna be reacting to Dua Lipa's performance at the Tiny Desk concert that she did last year. Well, technically it's not the Tiny Desk concert, it's the Tiny Desk home concert because of the pandemic and everything that happened last year and that's still happening right now. But you may be wondering, you know, like that was released like a few months ago, so why am I just reacting to it right now? Well, on the day that I upload this video is the day before that she's going to be releasing the deluxe edition of Future Nostalgia, which was one of my favorite albums of the year last year. I absolutely loved it so much, and she's going to be re-releasing it with all the remixes and three or four new songs, which I'm super excited to hear. And you guys definitely know that I'm gonna be reacting to that, so look out for that. But yeah, I'm just in celebration of that. I'm just gonna be reacting to this because I personally have wanted to react to this for a while. Like, I'm surprised that I haven't actually watched this at all, like especially since it came out and everything. And I did plan on reacting to it, but for some reason I didn't react to it. But you know what, now is the perfect time to do it since you know I feel like this future nostalgia era might be coming to a close soon. So I definitely wanna react to it before she moves on to DL3, which she is also recording apparently now. So I'm just really excited just hearing new music. But I'm also just excited just to get into this performance. Like I said, it's been a while that I've wanted to react to it and now I'm gonna be reacting to it and I'm just gonna stop talking and start reacting. So without further ado, here's my reaction to Dua Lipa's performance at the Tiny Desk Home concert. <sighs> okay, are you guys ready? Here we go and sorry about the glares right there, but let us begin and hopefully you guys can hear it too. I wonder what she's gonna start off with, because I know she does Love Again, but I don't know when it's gonna be. Tiny Desk Home Concerts. I just love these into- It's levitating! Hey, hey. She looks so good, the set looks so good. I've seen like little clips and snippets of the performances, I just don't remember any of them, so it's basically like I'm reacting to it brand new. I love her voice so much. That's the thing that I really love about her like performances is she sings so well and so uniquely. And it's really interesting because usually for this song she's you know doing the dancing and like everything like that. And I absolutely love the dancing, but for this it's very like intimate and personal and you can really like see and showcase her voice, you know, just like she did with like the Don't Start Now performance and stuff like that. Come on, backup vocals, let's go! And I just love how everyone's outfits are like so fly and so funky and I love it. And that's the thing like about this era overall for her performances. Dua seems like she's having so much fun in her performances no matter what she's doing. Whether it's like simple stuff like this or if she's like doing big concerts. And you know like the Studio 2054 performance? Yeah, I watched that live. It was amazing and I absolutely loved it so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. She looks so happy like performing all the time. Fuck your bust off. Hey. Come on, everyone, say. And I'm feeling so lucky the fuck. And even if I want to, I can't stop. And her like vocal like control ability is really good too. Hey, oh. And I feel like I'm one of us like few people that really like the original version better than the remixes. Let me know if you're in the same boat as me. Hey, here's her laugh. To be together. Um, this is the first time the band has been together in ages. We were actually meant to um, start our tour rehearsals just before the pandemic. Sad. So lockdown started, really. So, so sad. This is really, really special um, that we had the opportunity. To I know she's been like performing all the time, but usually she's like webcams. Right. 
back to you wherever you are in the world. Sending you lots of love. Mwah, hey. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's do it, guys. You ready? Love from yeah. London. Let's do it. What's, what's next? Oh. Hey. This song is so underrated. Oh, my God. I think this is one of her performances that I've, like, watched. As in, like, once the pandemic was happening and everything, like, she did, like, an interview or something, and she had to do this, like, on a webcam. I absolutely loved it so much. Hey. Oh, I know. Ooh, I love when she sings like that. Ooh. Come on, everyone, sing, harmonize. She always has like an attitude too, like in the best way. Like, I'm not trying to be like offensive or anything, but she has such a good like, you know, like I'm that bitch kind of face, and I have, I love it so much. That confidence that she has gained throughout her career, you know, from the beginning, from her first album to this album, it's honestly crazy. It's like she's not even the same person. Hey, hey, hey. Pretty please. Come on, everyone, sing. I need your hands on me. Sweet relief. Pretty. I love that part in the actual song. So funky, I love this. I love the live performances of these songs. Ooh, come on, funky guitar. Let's go. Hey, hey, that's right, Dua. Hope everyone's vibing watching this. Hey, would you help me out, please? please. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I love um, her smile this so next much. Song that we're gonna be performing for you is a song that I really love. It's one of my favorite on the record. Love again. And, it's a love again. Um, it's really about manifesting good things into your life when um, things aren't quite going your way. Um, is it? This is love again. Hey. Yeah. I absolutely love this song so this is much. Like a special version, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Special version, okay. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be a little bit more country ish. Her voice. I'm never gonna stop saying that. Show us that control. She's going so low with her voice, too. And did anyone else watch like her special on this song on Netflix? I forgot what show it was, but like they really deep dove into the song and how it was produced and everything and I absolutely loved it so much. And it kind of made me have more respect for the song in a way. This is a really different version, but I like it. It's like a little bit more slower. But I guess that kind of really brings out the lyrics, right? Oh, I, I miss the. The guitar is really pretty though, like the plucking, plucking or whatever he's doing. Hey, I heard that little voice crack. Honestly, her talent is crazy. I plan to see her in concert one day live in person. Someday once this pandemic is over and she tours in America, 100% you'll find me at a concert. Hey, here's one of my favorite parts of the song, the bridge. I can't believe, I can't believe hey. I'm finally found someone I 
sink my teeth in disbelief Cause you're the one that I know It's like so powerful yet so gentle at the same time And that's really hard to do but they do it so well Powerful voices, let's go. I wonder if she's gonna do like the high note for this song. If not, I'm gonna do it. You got me in love. I can't believe, I can't believe I finally found someone. I don't know if she could do it. Yes! I knew she was gonna do it. I love that version a lot. She called it. I, I love that version. Nice one, guys. <laughs> that made me feel a little warm. <laughs> Good job, Dua. Good right. job, everyone. Is there one more song? I don't know how many songs she performed. Ready for the last one? The last one. Let me guess All it's right. still a certain hell. Let's go to the party again. <laughs> My answer was the honors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Of course, of course. Okay, so there's the beat and everything, but it's still gonna be very acoustic y. But I, I vibe that. I hope the song wins a Grammy. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. It deserves it, honestly. I really love how the guitar really shines in this version. And the backup vocals, let's go! Somebody. Hope everyone's singing. Anything could stop me. Hey, 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 hey. Come out, come on, sing. Don't stop caring about me now. Aw, I love that part of this song. I'll do it in the next chorus, don't worry. I wonder if she was writing this song, she knew it was going to be as big of a hit as it has become. Because honestly, I, I can't believe the success that this song has had. And it still didn't reach number one. That's the thing that really shocks me. It's that it didn't reach number one on Hot 100. I don't know. Some things remain a mystery, I guess. Okay, here we go. My contribution. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh. Is it really what? What? I really love that though, how they did that. Sing, girl, sing. Okay, one more time. Let's do it for Dua. Come on. Don't come out. Don't stop caring about me now. Don't stop caring about me now. Hey. What, what? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What, what? Walk away, walk away. Oh. What, Walk away, walk away. Oh. That was amazing. I can't believe I held off on that. But that was... Wow. Wow. That was really well done. Good job to Dua, the uh, singers, the guitarist, and just everything. That was 
That was really amazing. Okay, and that was my reaction to Dua Lipa's tiny desk concert performance that she did last year. And I can't, like I said, I can't believe that it held off on it so much because I, like I, of course, like I saw clips and everything because like I follow a bunch of like Dua Lipa fan accounts on Twitter and Instagram and everything, which if you guys haven't followed me on those, you guys should definitely do that. But yeah, like I said, I follow them. So I like saw snippets and of course I saw like screenshots and everything, but like I haven't listened to like the entire thing in full. So it was really cool just to get into this and hear her sing. Cause like I said in this reaction, I love when she sings so much. She has so much control, so much confidence in her performance. Like again, from the beginning of her career, like it wasn't bad. It was just like, in a way it was kind of awkward, but like, and I'm not hating on her again. I absolutely love the the younger duo, you know, it, it was amazing. It was a time. But for this, like the future nostalgia era, she has become so much more confident in like the way that she dresses and the way she dances and just the way that she sings. Did you see the attitude in her face? I absolutely love that confidence so much and I kind of really wish I could get that. I don't know, maybe I'm in my DL1 phase now and I might do my DL2 phase later and then DL3, I don't know whenever that's gonna come out, I'll have that era as well. But you know what, I'm just really proud of her for doing this, you know, just really doing so many things, serving us during quarantine with this album and I honestly can't wait to see what the Moonlight Edition has, which again, that's gonna be coming out, uh, I think like the from the day that I upload this video, it'll be coming out tomorrow. So watch out for that as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy reacting to this. Finally, I love Dua so much. She is one of my favorite artists like ever. So I'm just really happy that I could react to this. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all the usual things, follow me on social media accounts. Just keep up with everything Dua that I do because future nostalgia, the Moonlight Edition is coming and I'm here for it and it's just gonna get me through another year and hopefully it does for you guys too. And until the next video, the wonder won't stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Boo.